This is a video representation of Anne and Dick O'Hanlon Collected Works that has been installed in the O'Hanlon Gallery in celebration of our 50th anniversary of the nonprofit. We're starting out with a photo of Anne and Dick O'Hanlon that was taken by Purple Jones, and it is representative of one of the sculptures you'll see further on in the collection. Anne O'Hanlon's paintings rarely are named or dated, so we have several of hers in this exhibit. Dick O'Hanlon's sculpture here is called Bedford Stone, no date. This other photo, uh, painting, number four, is Anne O'Hanlon acrylic on linen, and Anne is known to have said that this was a painting of herself and Dick and their life together. Anne O'Hanlon's very large mixed media on canvas. This is a small self-portrait, the only known self-portrait we have of Anne O'Hanlon. This um, sculpture is hmm, in the corner. It is a Dick O'Hanlon granite sculpture from 1969, and it's representative of many of the sculptures he had in his Santa Barbara Museum show, 1969. Another Anne O'Hanlon acrylic on linen. And then that one is later on. Yes, I guess I could talk about it, but I didn't. So here we have another Dick O'Hanlon bronze, probably an early bronze. This next painting by Anne O'Hanlon is an acrylic on linen. Does have a year, 1963 in memory of the assassination of a great human or the struggle between light and dark on this planet. And then we have a Dick O'Hanlon sculpture that is named Hiroshima. So both in response to big world events. We have two more Anne O'Hanlon acrylic on linen. The one with the four circles is titled Four Moons in an Environment. This bronze in the middle of the room is from the 1960s. It's also the one that was shown in the first photograph and its title is Sierra Precipice. And in the corner, which we saw earlier, is Dick O'Hanlon, one of his series of Mobian sculptures, and this is Compressed Aluminum, 1985. It was donated to us by Dr. Donald Berg for this exhibit and for us to keep in our permanent collection. It is Dick O'Hanlon's last sculpture as he passed away in 1985. We're going to be going upstairs in the gallery. This is a study by Anne O'Hanlon. This is believed to be a study for the next painting that we'll see here, which is oil on linen. And in the corner is from the early 40s of Anne O'Hanlon, oil on canvas waterfall. Next to it is a Dick O'Hanlon bronze from 1962 called Timberline Three. And next to that is a large acrylic on canvas of Anne's, followed by two Dick O'Hanlon's sculptures that we are titling Wabi Sabi. The first one is called Sea Worm, and we're thinking around 1960, and one right next to it, another Wabi Sabi sculpture. The next one is Dick O'Hanlon's Copper Reposé. Don't have a date on this right now. 
And one of his drawings of the sculpture very right next to it, a wax resist, that's a wax resist of Una, or Ona, which is Japanese for woman, which you'll see the sculpture right to the left here. We have a Dick O'Hanlon bronze. Oh, wait, that is bronze, the Ona. And then we have um, Duck. And this is on loan from Carol Passavoy. And this is from the 40s. Dick O'Hanlon did a lot of animals in the early 40s. And you can see from here, uh, right above the duck, is his three plaster boss relief maquettes for UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine, 1947. This is also on loan from Carol Passavoy. Next we have a very small ink drawing, 1943 of Dick O'Hanlon's. And right below it, another sculpture, a wabi-sabi sculpture. Next to that is an acrylic on linen of Anne O'Hanlon, a painting. More of Anne O'Hanlon's paintings. Very bright colors. And in between two of her paintings here is a Dick O'Hanlon study for a monument, 1960. This next bronze uh, is on loan from Genevieve Barnhart and is believed to be one of his very earliest bronzes, 1959 or so. And following this, we have a Dick O'Hanlon maquette for his 1976 sunstones, which was erected in Berkeley at the uh, Berkeley Lawrence Hall of Science? Yes. And the last piece in the show, for this show, is a bronze that was actually done by Anne O'Hanlon, a reclining figure. We want to thank Jeremy Thornton and Ken Robertson for curating this show. And the art installation was done by Jeremy Thornton, Ken Robertson, Chris Gordon, Brett Hopper, Leonardo Nino, Alec Luke, and Lexi Weston. Stone Fox was also very instrumental in prepping the gallery for this installation. <laughs>